Hi, this is Peter Fox and uh, my son Scott and uh, we just uh, had a fantastic day with uh, Nick. Nick's a guy who's come up for a training. Uh, we've opened a, a training arm to our business and uh, it's been an absolutely brilliant day, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, really good. We've probably programmed about four or five cars. And then uh, Nick's got an interesting story. He bought some equipment in a van and he went on a course with uh, one of these uh, training companies. And as I said on the, uh, on the internet, uh, on our site, uh, it's great going on these courses and they do give you a great insight into yeah. the uh, business. However, once you come off the course, what do you do? And uh, so he's come along and he's become our first uh, trainee and we've had him on the van. He's been good, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been really good, yeah. He's, he's definitely, uh, you know, you can tell when someone has like a sort of knack for, for it already. So he's definitely, definitely he's on his way there. Yeah. So we did a few things today, and we did the we did a lot with a handy baby. We programmed a, a couple of cars, but we we cloned a few, mm. and it doesn't go always right either, does it, Scott? Mm. And that's a good thing. I think what he said was that it's, he learns more when it goes wrong. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So got a, doing a spare key for a um, Skoda City Go. So we're going to see if the handy baby. First of all, first job is to see if it will clone it. So it says locked, 48 chip, A4 is um, the logic. Right. So for example, if it was an Audi, it will be like um, 48 A1. If it was uh, a VW, it would be like 48 A2. So it's just the logic. Right. And it says OK to read. And it says OK to read, it will just pull up the same thing. So there's no okay to copy so that won't copy that chip no. because it has the extra security on it right so it has to actually go online and you can't do it offline right so next step is you get this baby out called the keyline mini and we need to open the we had, we had a bit of trouble with uh, an Audi and uh, the, the guy had broke down in it basically so it wasn't just like an all keys lost situation of someone just losing their keys and there was there was definitely something more going on to the car so uh, yeah we had a lot of trouble programming it we did get it programmed in the end but yeah he, he learned a lot from that and just the ways around of yeah and the interesting things. was was when we got the handy baby and we cloned the key that uh, was it, the um, Skoda key. Yeah. We cloned the Skoda key and it didn't take. Yeah. And he went to start the car and it didn't start. Yeah. And then we went back to the, the van and we recloned it again yeah. using the internet. Probably a little bit probably of an anomaly in the internet. It probably lost the signal for a second, didn't put all the information onto the key, and then of course it didn't start the car. But it was great for him because. Yeah. Really good. It's good to see things when they go when they go wrong, not yeah. when they go right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. Um, so yeah, and then I don't know if you noticed before um, when you were turning the ignition on, it yeah. said safe yeah. at the bottom. That's so it. Not safe. Sa or yeah, safe mode is immobilizer active. Right. So it would have started the car, but then the engine would have just died like after a second. Right. So if you turn it over now with a new key. Had a great day. We've cut quite a few keys. Cut Tibby keys today. We've cut um, Volkswagen keys. Um, we've done we've done a really good day today, and I think Nick's really enjoyed it. So the hands-on training is really where it's at. And our little workshop here, we've got uh, a big bundle of different uh, keys that we've been going through with them, showing them what he perhaps needs to carry on his van, and uh, using the handy baby too, using the cut cutting machine. Um, picking, so he's pretty good picker actually, isn't he? Yeah, he's not bad actually. Yeah, he's yeah, pretty he's good. Bad. He seems to have picked the picking side up very quickly. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad at picking. Yeah, yeah. So if you were, if you were Nick Scott, um, how do you think you you would uh, improve the day? Um, I think just a little bit more on the like technical side. He needs to pick up and uh, just just about basically information of knowing what key is for what car, what chip is for what car, what remote is for what car, and just basically getting a grasp of all the different remotes, all the different keys, all the different blades, all the different chips, and then that process of putting all that together in a package 
to, to give it to someone as a, as a car key. And you've been great at just showing them step by step the different chips. How the shoulder, yeah. it always sits on that on that edge there. Yeah, yeah. So, like you did the one yesterday. So, so you wanna... Bit further in. Right, right in, right in. Yeah, let's put it about there for now, yeah. And then put your little... Put your little tool on. Your tool is going to sit in there, and then you want that shoulder to be up against it. Exactly, yeah. So yeah. You, I'll just show you. So that shoulder, push Rest it up again, there, yeah. and then in. So I'll leave it. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. So you have a quick look, see where it is. It looks a bit skew with. Right. So you might want to put your you could put your finger on it and then drop it down. When you open you see how it dropped down yeah. then? Yeah. Yeah. That's a better. You see how it's nice and flat? Yeah. Okay, put that in there. So decode. With the work. Yeah. Uh, we've actually put some manuals together so to make it a lot easier to uh, explain the chips and stuff yeah. and uh, we've, uh, we've we've had a great day with him. Yeah, we have, yeah. Super. Really and, I, and I think he's really enjoyed it too. Yeah. So uh, he's back up next week, comes back up on Monday, spend a couple more days with us. Yeah. And uh, we'll be, this is, of uh, course, this training is hands-on. We don't... Um, we don't know what customers are coming in. We don't know what jobs are coming in. Yeah. We just take everything as it comes over the telephone, go to the next job, whether it be a lockout or whether it be a program, a car, whatever. Whatever comes in, we go. Not, nothing's put on. It's real customers and a real day. So, so and unlike a training school where you know nothing much goes wrong, on the van, on a working day, things go wrong. And that's yeah. great because we're here to show them how to get over those things. And it could be something simple, you know, it's, it, it, the simplest things can go wrong, but if you don't know how to put them right, then, you know, you're stuck. And it's yeah. great in the classroom, but there's nothing like a hands-on training. Yeah. So yeah. Scott's uh, been working with me for quite a while now, and he's picked it up. He's better than me. He's picked this thing up fantastic. Mm -hmm. He knows the chips, he knows the boards, he knows the keys, he knows the remotes, he knows the programming. So, uh, we, yeah, we're, we're a great team. And uh, we're going to bring the guys aboard and teach them exactly what we know yeah. and get them up and running to make serious money out of this business. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so let's get on. We'll do one more job to do now. We're just going to finish up now. We're just finishing what, one last job on a little Nissan <coughs> Micra. So we'll get that program now. And then it's uh, it's off for... Uh, tea and biscuits. Tea, biscuits and medals. <laughs> yeah. All right. Then. All right. Thanks, Scott, mate. Yeah, Been a great day. Yeah. Good lad. See you later.